Hey guys, this is the Tech Phantom, and I wanted to do a quick unboxing of Bloodborne's Collector Edition. I just received the copy of uh, of the game. Uh, very excited about taking a look at what it comes with. Unfortunately, I did receive this one day late, so I have not played Bloodborne. And I also cut the tape off screen because uh, I'm actually holding the um, the box um, away from or from behind the camera. So I'll just show you the exterior packaging. So this is what the exterior packaging looks like and let's close this up so that it looks a little bit nicer. So on the front you have uh, your standard photo of uh, or drawing of a Bloodborne character with the cleaver and it looks to be the blunderbuss. Um, Bloodborne on the side, actually on both sides here as you can see. And on the back just some specifications and just some more details about the game. Uh, you do see a little bit of a preview of what is supposed to be inside of the box here. Uh, the Steelbook game case, the premium art book, and the uh, the official soundtrack. And I guess this one comes with uh, not a CD but rather a, uh, a voucher for downloading the soundtrack. Alright so let's take a look at the actual uh, the game case and the art book. So the game case and art book come in this nice little jacket. It's a cardboard jacket and you can see from the side that this can actually sit on your bookshelf and you could see uh, you know it says Bloodborne on it so you can quickly pick it out of your of your of your uh, shelf and on the front of the jacket we have a misty shot very foggy shot of uh, it looks to be a castle or um, a monastery or something maybe a church steeple of Yarnum and on the back we have a continuation of the scene and uh, I don't know how, how well you guys could see it because it's a very faint uh, depiction here but we have the main character here and he is uh, walking along a very foggy street that's lit by lamps and you could see the Yarnum um, buildings and uh, other uh, uh, houses and churches in the background. So that's a nice little little bit of art that we're getting uh, in the jacket itself. So let's take a look at the interior. Put the jacket away. So the first thing we see here guys is the metal case for Bloodborne and it has another depiction of the of the main character, at least one of the characters you can make uh, with, uh, it looks like the cleaver again. It's a very very nice shot. Um, very nice drawing and it looks like on the background you can faintly see the same type of cloudy shot of Yarnum that we saw in the uh, in the dust jacket and on the back of the metal case we have the same picture uh, that is that was on the front of the uh, external uh, box uh, with the main character we have Bloodborne kind of typed on the side on one side and on the other side is obviously where you would open this. And here's my voucher for downloading uh, the digital soundtrack. And here's the uh, PS4 uh, exclusive Bloodborne. All right, so let's take a look. So that's a very nice case. Very happy that I ordered that. Let's take a look at the at the uh, art book that comes with this. So it's it's not a very thick art book, but it's a hardcover art book. Uh, it's very well made. Um, I I kind of like um, kind of old school, and I do like uh, nice books, hardbound books. Um, so this is nice. This is very nice. It's a very nice collectible. And I'm just gonna page through all of the pages here, so you guys have a chance to take a look at this. Hopefully, I'm not violating any copyright or anything like that. I doubt it since I did purchase a copy of this, so it should be okay to show it. Uh, so the contents are Prologue, World, Characters, Weaponry, Beasts, and Other Nightmares. And I guess uh, before I go any further, I will say, spoiler, spoiler alert, I am going to be paging through um, the, uh, the art book. So uh, use the, uh, the pause button if you, if you must. Alright, so I'm just going to give you an idea, guys, of the 
of the art on the pages. I'm not going to read through the text. Uh, I'm trying not to get a lot of glare here from my lamp. Uh, but see, you can see some of the uh, some of the artwork, and I'm looking forward to seeing this come to life on the actual video game. And there is a picture of the inside of a church, and there's a picture on the right of of a windmill. Again, uh, I don't know which of these um, drawings or character depictions were actually used in game, and which ones were not. Uh, but again, I'm repeating my spoiler alert. If you have not played Bloodborne, or if uh, you are, uh, you don't want to know what is in the art book. And here's a, a two-page shot of uh, Yarnan. It looks like it's in the winter. Uh, lots of snow and lots of icicles on buildings. Very pretty. And some more artwork here. And here's more depictions, I imagine, of the characters and places uh, that you're going to see in the game. And I'm going to enjoy paging through this book after I've had the opportunity to play um, Bloodborne a couple of times. I think it'll have more significance to me. Alright, we're switching over to the characters. Uh, there's the main character with a very cool cape. And I guess this is some of the, ar some of the armor that's in the game. Uh, more armor, so hopefully we'll be able to find all of this armor actually exists in the game and we'll be able to find it. And there is an NPC it looks like. Or maybe this is a couple of different NPCs. Okay, we're going into weapons. Again guys, massive spoiler alert here. But here's a preview of some of the weapons and I already see a sword. It looks amazing, a big hammer, an axe, and the cleaver that we've seen on the previews. Uh, and here are some of the guns. Uh, hopefully all of these exist in the game and we'll be able to pick them up and check them out. And here are some of the bosses. Um, so, I think this is the, uh, the cleric beast that was in some of the trailers and some of the... Um, some of the footage that uh, FromSoft released early, and I'm going to page through these quickly. I don't want to, I don't want to give myself massive spoilers on the bosses, uh, but I imagine that these are these are old bosses or NPCs that you have to fight. Uh, a lot of detail. I wonder how close to the um, to these drawings the actual characters on screen are, because these look really really nice. They have um, they, ha they remind me of, I guess, um, Victorian, but also kind of gothic um, horror look to them. And this appears to be the biggest section. More NPCs, more characters here. And this is a double shot of what appears to be some kind of a pig... Uh, that's completely on flames. There's some either a pig or a feline. It looks like a pig or a boar. And here's some more characters. They're all quite gruesome. Uh, very well drawn. And that is it, guys. That is the uh, Blood the Bloodborne art book. And here is again the uh, the metal case with the actual uh, game itself. Uh, I am going to. Uh, download the music and start enjoying the Bloodborne music. So this was, um, I guess, an unboxing for uh, Bloodborne, the collector's edition. And if you guys uh, uh, were wondering what you got for uh, w with the collector's edition, uh, now you know. Um, it's a nice collectible and I'm very happy that I ordered it. This is the Tech Phantom signing off.